Well, people have asked me why, we, why we've done this, uh, why we do these shows. And, uh, well, the first reason was that I was asked to do it for the Kitchener Blues Festival. And uh, they wanted a, a, a special event, and I thought, well, why don't we do music from the last waltz? Well, when we did it, not only did the audience like it a lot, but we really liked playing this music. And then we realized again that, well, this is really a, a, a great part of our shared Canadian musical heritage. I mean, the music that these four Canadians and the one American that they uh, made uh, really uh, touches home to us. Well, I'm Jerome Levon Avis, and uh, it's great to uh, get to play these tunes of the guys, Sweet Levon, Richard, and Rick, the band. Well, Levon uh, was my godfather. He used to call me JL. He'd say, JL, you and me, son. And, uh, he was something else. Well, my name is William Avis, better known as Business Bill. I met Levon and Ronnie at the place called the Concord Tavern. And uh, I just couldn't get enough of that rockabilly. And that's, you know, what it was called then. And Marks in Summers Point, New Jersey, and Tony and I became very, very good friends. I had a two-week uh, engagement there with the girls. Everything went well. Left there, stayed on the road with the girls, and then I got a call from Levon, and he said, Bill, we've left Ronnie. We're on our own now as Levon and the Hawks, and we want you to come on back with us. I just went. Came back with Levon and the Hawks, and the fact that they had left Ronnie, there wasn't a lot of places that wanted to hire them without Ronnie. So, what we did is I said, guys, I just finished playing a room here about six months ago called Tony Marks in Summers Point, New Jersey. I said, Look, I'll give them a call and just because I knew how good they were, and I knew that they would go over in that room. And I must add that uh, Tony March was the largest teenage nightclub on the eastern seaboard at that time. It was nine miles from Atlantic City. Anyway, he said yes. He tried them for a week. We went down, it took, the week turned into two weeks. After two weeks, it turned in, I want you for the summer. Unannounced to any of us, at that time, Albert Grossman and his people were looking Musicians to back Bob Dylan. The rest is history. He always told me, keep playing, son, just never give up, you know, and if the music's good, the people will come to you. It's just very honest music and it's honest sentiments that they're saying about. It. 